Hello friends from the internet. Welcome to Jamil Geral. I am Jamil Silva and in this episode I'm going to explain you about the browser. In our last episode I just presented the working space and today is all about the browser. So let's do it. Here in my computer I already have the program open. The, when you have the workspace set as default, this is what you get. The browser is here, the right side of the program. The browser is where you will have the pictures to be selected to work with. For example, I have one picture selected. I can see it selected because it has this white part and this is not selected. And once it's selected, it, it will appear here in the middle. If I want to select another one, I can click and it will appear here again. I can also use arrows in my keyboard to select them, going up and down the way I want. I can select more than one picture. For example, if I want to select two or more pictures, I just press Shift and click and you have two pictures selected. If I want, for example, this picture selected up until the beginning, I go there, press Shift and click there and now I have here five pictures select. I can also select all the pictures. To select all pictures is very simple. I press Ctrl A. Now I have all pictures selected. I have this information here. I have 33 pictures selected out of 33 pictures. If I want to deselect the pictures, I just press Ctrl Shift A and now now I don't have any pictures selected, that's why I have 33 images in here. Click again, now I have one picture selected out of 33 pictures selected. If you go here in the middle and you click and drag, you can make it smaller or make it bigger. You can also place this browser here in the bottom. To place this here in the bottom as a film strip, you just press Ctrl Shift B, it will be down here. If you press Ctrl again Shift B, it will be here again in the right side. If you want the browser to be on the left side, you just press Ctrl Shift T and you move it. If you want to put it back again, Ctrl Shift T and it will be back. This is uh, very important. I, I like to use shortcuts a lot because they make your job easier and faster. If you want, you can also hide this browser in order to have more space here in your picture that is being edited. To hide it is, is quite simple. You press Ctrl B and then it's hidden. Ctrl B again and it's back again. Ctrl B, Ctrl B, it's back again. Something that is very, very nice too, you, you can have the option to see all the pictures in the browser. It's, if you press Ctrl Alt V, you have now all the pictures here in the browser. If you just select very fast the one you want, you press again Ctrl Alt V and it's back. Control Alt V, you go to the browser, and if you don't want to press again, you have the option to just double click to, for example, I want this picture, double click that picture, and there it is. Control Alt V, double click, and then you have it. Here you have the option to search the pictures. Here I, I explained it that it's you have one picture selected out of 33 pictures. This is how you're gonna sort the picture. I'm gonna uh, and this is how you're gonna view the program. Let's make it larger here so that you can see those controls a little bit better. This option is for a film strip. You're gonna have the pictures like this as if it were really a film. If you have the, this, the middle, you have a list mode where you have the pictures with more information. Let's make it even bigger. Color information, if, if you classify it by color, here you have rate information. You can rate here or use the mouse, the name, and information about the picture. And here you have the pictures in grid mode. Here you have all the pictures here. I think for this part, for the grid mode, it's better press Ctrl Alt V and you have them here. Select the picture you want, double click, and here you have it here. So maybe in this area, it's you're gonna use more film strip. But going back here to the grid mode, there is the search mode. If you type, you, you see here. Here you have the one picture selected out of 33. This is where you will uh, classify the, the picture. Here they are classified by name, but you classify by date. You can classify it by color tag, but I think name and date maybe will be probably the most ones that are used. Sort direction, A to Z or Z, Z to A. Here you have two pictures. The big one is to, en to enlarge the picture. If you just click, it will be bigger and bigger and bigger. If you press the smaller picture, it will be smaller and smaller and smaller. You can also use the mouse and drag and you're going to have 
a bigger picture. So let's make it smaller and now we'll go back to the film strip. It's very important to, to know shortcuts. My suggestion for you is to learn shortcuts to make your job easier. If you have problems remembering shortcuts, my advice for you is very simple. For example, if I don't remember how to hide this tab anymore, I just go to view, everything about the, the, the browser will be in one tab. Browser, 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 browser. So here, hide the browser. And the shortcut is Control B. So I don't click. If I click, I will never learn. So I get out of here, I click somewhere else, and now I press Control B to hide it. I think this is the best way to start learning and memorizing those shortcuts because once you know them, your job is going to be very, very, very fast. For example, if I want to select all the pictures, Control A. If I want to deselect all the pictures, Control Shift A. If I want to select three pictures, I go here. The third one, Shift, I want to hide, Control B. I want to view the grid mode and to choose a picture. Double click and I'm there very fast. You can also press home to go to the first one. If you press end in the keyboard, it will go to the last one. You can use page up, page down. You can really use the keyboard to help you. So, I hope you have enjoyed this program. Next episode, I will explain more about the tabs. Bye-bye.